Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be classifying numbers. In fact, all the numbers we are going to be looking at are real numbers. So every one of these categories are categories of real numbers, okay? So our most basic real number category is natural numbers. Natural numbers are also known as counting numbers. If you were to just say you had a little friend, you know, or cousin who was a kindergartner, and you ask them, do you know how to count? And they'd be like, one, two, three, four, and they'd be all happy. Those are counting numbers. Those are natural numbers. So they're the most basic numbers. So numbers like one, two, three, four, and so on. They keep going on forever and ever. Now, our next category is whole numbers. Whole numbers include the natural numbers. That's why the nat natural is inside of the box that says whole numbers. But whole numbers also includes the number zero. So whole numbers start with zero because you can have zero of something and then it includes all the natural numbers. One, two, three, four, and so on in like manner. Okay. Now, next, when you got, oh, I don't know, maybe around fourth grade or so, um, you were introduced to integers. Well, integers have positive numbers and negative numbers, and they include zero. So I'm going to say dot, 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 and then negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, uh, 0, and then positive numbers. 1, 2, 3, and so on in like manner. Okay? Those are the integers. So natural numbers is a subset of whole numbers. Whole numbers is a subset of integers. Well, integers is a subset of rational numbers. So what are rational numbers? Well, if somebody's rational, you'd say they make sense. And if somebody were irrational, you'd say they don't make sense. Well, that may be true to an extent with numbers, but rational numbers means they can be written as a fraction. So rational numbers will include numbers like one half, two thirds, okay? They also include numbers like 0 0.25 because that can be written as a fraction. It's one fourth as a fraction, as a decimal, okay? So um, it includes whole numbers. I can say five because all I have to do is put the whole number five over one and I have a fraction. So I'm just making a list. Now it also includes decimals that, see this one was terminating, but there are decimals that are repeating like 0 0.333 3, and it keeps going on forever. Well, that's just one third as a decimal. Okay, and one third, that's a fraction. So anything, any number that can be written as a fraction is rational. Well, what about numbers that cannot be written as a fraction? Well, they are called irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are special numbers. Uh, for example, pi. Pi is an irrational number. Why? Well, it is a non-repeating, that means does not repeat, non-terminating, that means it does not end, so it goes on forever and it does not repeat. Decimal value. All right, so 3.14 is a rounded value. All right, uh, people have crashed computers trying to calculate pi to hundreds and thousands of decimal places. Okay, another example. Square root of any prime number is irrational. So, square root of 2 or 
square root of 3. Okay, these are all examples of irrational numbers. Now, all of these are in a category called real numbers. And for this chapter, we're only looking at real numbers. So here we have it. There's our classification of real numbers. So enjoy working with these. Keep it real.